A singing yellow pufferfish holds all the traits of ugly early 2000s animation, and it looks absolutely stunning. This fever dream is from a video game by the name of Stupid Invaders, released by Ubisoft in the glorious year of 2000. And the story behind it becoming popular in 2022 is kind of interesting. It all starts with Gemma attempting to play the game in a Dreamcast stream in 2021, but he did not have both discs, which led to a Reddit user by the name of Me Does A Thing looking further into the game and finding an isolated clip of the pufferfish, likely posted posted by Egret on YouTube way back in 2013. Me Does A Thing would go on to post this clip on the Cursed Video subreddit on the 26th of March, leading to a veritable explosion of activity surrounding the short video. Despite being technically very ugly, the aesthetic presented to the audience feels incredibly appealing, which may or may not have something to do with the nostalgia it elicits. Just as 18 or 16-bit games held the attention of Gen X and Millennials on the internet for a long time, so too has the animation of the early 2000s. The fact that the fish also sings, don't pee on the floor, use the Commodore, is incredibly endearing, and yet it sounds confusing. What is a Commodore? What does it all mean? Well, in the original game, the subtitles are spelled as Commodore, not Commodore, as in the naval term. Commodore is a Spanish word for dining room. That being said, there still seems to be heavy debate about what the lyrics actually mean, so if you know for certain, please don't hesitate to write it down in the comments. However, perhaps another one of the contributing factors to the popularity of this clip is that many recognize the melody of the song the pufferfish is singing. Whilst the Five Nights at Freddy's theme immediately comes to mind, this particular tune stems from a classical piece by the name of Le Toreador, composed by Georges Bizet in 1875 for the opera Carmen. It's fascinating how such a piece can stand the test of time, cementing itself as not only an incredible song almost 200 years ago, but also as the sound of bizarre digital culture in 2022. It's gotten to the point where people are uploading instrumental duets, although this shouldn't be too difficult considering they only utilize one of the most famous music pieces of all time. Essentially, the yellow singing pufferfish, while objectively ugly, has certainly wormed its way into the hearts of those who would spend a lot of time on the internet 22 years later, and for that remains proof of the greater concept of nostalgia turning to the early 2000s. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>